Unfortunately, it was a 37 to 19 loss to Governor Thomas Johnson for your program to now fall to one and one. But what are your overall thoughts after a few days of getting in after that about that game? Uh, we showed our youth a little bit on Saturday. Uh, Saturday afternoon, the boys weren't used to uh, playing a Saturday afternoon game. Uh, didn't get exposed. Uh, came to light a little bit. Uh, penalties, turnovers, it's hard to win a football game when you have six turnovers and seven to eight penalties. Coach, if you're still there, you kind of cut out on us for a second. You got me. Yeah, got you now. You still all good there? Okay. Coach, you mentioned it being a Saturday game and the guys weren't really used to that. What was the reasoning behind making that a Saturday game, by the way? Uh, this, it was decided with our AD uh, before the EPAC officials are short on officials this year. So they asked some of the uh, EPAC teams if we'd be willing to move games to help those guys out. So that's why our team was moved to Saturday. What were some, I guess, positive takeaways from that game for your team? Uh, we kept fighting the entire game. Uh, the boys never gave up. Uh, we we kept trying to make things happen to get us back in the game. We we hung around. We hung around, but eventually, it just the turnovers took their toll on us. Coach, moving on to this week, uh, what are some things you're kind of keying on in practice as you get ready for your next opponent? Well, this week's been hot and practice has been limited to us, but uh, we've been keying on stopping the run. we got a Frankfurt team coming in. We're, well, we're going to a Frankfurt team up there in Ridgely that is very disciplined and runs the ball very well. It's kind of a unique situation because Washington has played them uh, for the past few years, that being Frankfurt, but you're also familiar with them as well from Berkeley Springs, a rivalry there between Berkeley Springs and Frankfurt now. You're the head coach of Washington getting to take on Frankfurt again this season. So just tell us a little bit about that and how you are looking forward to this opportunity against the Falcons. Uh, we played against Coach Whiteman at Berkeley Springs the three years I was up there. Uh, Coach Whiteman's teams are very disciplined and very well coached. Uh, it, it's a little bit different now. I, I, we got different kids, different set. Uh, that was a big rivalry for us up there. Uh, our kids are excited uh, to take the trip up there and have a different scheme and a different look the way we're going to do things. But I always know this, when you play Frankfurt, you, you better be ready to show up to play because it's going to be a physical football game. Coach, you mentioned the heat obviously impacting things. How have you guys kind of managed it to make sure that you're keeping within the rules and uh, keeping the kids safe? Uh, Monday, we came on Labor Day. We made sure we came in in the morning so we could go out and get our uh, two-hour practice in. Tuesday, we got to go outside. Uh, we were limited to just wearing helmets. We started out in helmets and shoulder pads, but we had to shed off layers as practice on. And yesterday, we had a two-hour practice in the gym. And with that, is today still kind of a walkthrough day? Have you got enough in for practice to feel confident going into tomorrow? Or because of the heat, did you guys kind of have to change the way you're doing things for the most part this week? Uh, we've got... We got quality reps in. Uh, we just haven't got to have as much contact as we would like through the last two days. Uh, today is polish. Uh, we will go over a couple things that we normally don't do on a Thursday. But uh, other than that, I think we're prepared. Uh, we, we've gone over most of the game plan on offense and defense and special teams with the kids. Like I said, we, we lacked a little bit of the contact this week due to the heat. All righty, Coach Ray, unless you got any final thoughts, we appreciate the time today. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me on. Thank you for joining us, and take care, Coach. Good luck against Frankfurt. You too, guys. Thanks.